centre swim will not bring the ones we love so dearly back to us. It has provided a degree of closure to us all. The last 11 months have been the worst months of our lives and sitting through the trial only added to our pain and heartbreak. But we will now try to move on as best as we can together, never forgetting those we love so much who we will always think about with every passing day. The support we've received from our family, friends, communities and Leicestershire Police have helped us to get through the toughest of years. My parents are extremely grateful to their employers for their care and compassion that they've been shown and I know that Jose would like to also thank English Martyrs School and the Bodie Hodges Foundation for the support they have shown him as well as the community across Leicester. On behalf of my family and Jose and Scotty I would like to thank our family liaison officers for care and compassion they have shown since that fateful night. Their role was paramount and we will be forever grateful for having them on our journey providing clarity to a process so alien to us and keeping us calm when it all got too much to bear. We are also extremely grateful to the investigation team led by DCI Michelle Keane who has helped bring these men to justice through their hard work, dedication and determination. I'm Detective Chief Inspector Michelle Keane um, and I've led this investigation. I've never dealt with an incident that has caused so much devastation, both to families who've lost their loved ones, but also to members of the wider community. The devastation is still clear to see almost a year on, and the families will never recover from their loss. And all because of the callous actions of three men who were motivated by money and greed. The level of planning carried out prior to the explosion showed they had no regard for human life. They only had one thing in mind, and that was to get their hands on the money from the insurance claim. Today marks the end of a long and complex investigation, and will provide, I hope, some closure to the families whose strength, resolve and dignity throughout the last year has been nothing short of remarkable. The lengthy sentences handed down today are not only reflective of the hideous crimes carried out by the defendants, but also testament to the dedication and professionalism of all of those involved in bringing this case to trial. I would like to take this opportunity to publicly thank all of those involved in bringing the case to trial and for the support offered by the wider community. Particular thanks go to the CPS and barristers David Herbert QC and Jonathan Cox who have prosecuted this case and whose commitment has been unwavering. Without the hard work of everyone involved we would not be here today.